I am at Upper McClay Park in Portland and I'm gonna do a short little hike trying to find the witch's house. It's a very muddy trail. Like it's hopefully I don't slip and fall. It's muddy and it's raining. Anyway, here I go. I'm gonna try and find it. Okay, I think I'm going down there where the person is again, Sancho is. At least since it's raining and it's a weekend, it looks like so far I'm not going to run into a ton of people on this trail. I'm assuming since this trail is like in the city basically, well, Obviously, I'm on a trail in, like, the forest, but it's literally right outside of the city, um, four miles from my house. Um, I'm assuming that it can get crowded, but it's raining today, so... I don't know, hopefully it doesn't get real slippy down there. I don't know, the guy with shorts and a rain poncho can do it. I'm sure I can. a little cascading waterfall. Muddy water, but looks kind of cool.
so the uh, place I'm going called the Witch's House, that's not the official name, I don't think, but that's what people call it. It's not really a witch's house. Um, from what I've read, the city built it, um, a stone structure, like in 1929, um, but this land actually had, like, in that same area or that same spot or near the area of family who live there and there's a whole legend behind um, the wife being a witch so that's where that stemmed from but the actual structure that looks like a witch's house um, is not actually a witch's house um, it's just a creepy old falling down stone structure um, so anyway it looked pretty cool online that's what I'm trying to find right now Okay, I think if I keep going up this trail, I may come to put a I'm not sure. I'm going to walk on it a little bit. I don't know if I'll go that far because I think it's a five mile long trip. And I don't know what's what. Those people have tripods and camera equipment, so I'm assuming that they're going to take pictures of the witch's house. So I got there and got done right before people came and got in view in the photos. <laughs> Okay, I'm finally walking up a hill, and then this just reminds me that 
from my way down, it was all steep downhill. So when I go back, I'm going to be walking up a steep muddy hill. <laughs> I'm glad I wore waterproof hiking boots instead of tennis shoes today. These are not the same boots I normally wear. Um, I haven't really worn these ones out hiking yet. I've just worn them around, so we'll see how waterproof they are and how they work. Shit out of me. He came jogging up behind. And that's why I was like recording. I almost dropped my camera because I wasn't expecting it. I don't want to be here and not on the boat.
I really have no clue where I'm going. I think this might lead to Pittock Mansion, but I'm not sure. And I don't know how far I've gone, because I have no way of tracking it. I just know I'm on the same trail because I keep following the same trail signs so that I can find my way back to my car. I know that a lot of joggers keep passing me, so a lot of people come up here and run. Okay, so I thought I was recording. I wasn't. I think at the top up there, I don't think anything goes further. I just feel like if I keep going and this wasn't, there's some more people. Okay. Anyway, if I keep going and it's not the trail of the Pittock Mansion, I'm going to be irritated that I kept going to make it to the Pittock Mansion. But if I quit and go home and look up that it was the right trail, I'm going to be so irritated with myself that I didn't keep going. And there's more people than there. Walked in, I just said that. Anyway, it's a trail I came from. Anyway, I just keep staying on the same trail. I think I'm almost to the top. I'll keep going. I'm going to go further. My phone's starting to get wet. It's hard to use the touch screen. I'm thinking I should turn around. I don't think I'm going the right way. But I've gone up and down and now the trail's looping over there. I don't know, I see someone a ways back coming up behind me. They probably walked past me. I'll keep walking until they pass me and I'll ask them where this trail goes. I don't think I'm going where I think I'm going. Okay, so the backpacker you just saw that walked away, he caught up to me, and I'm turning around right now, because I stopped and I said, do you know where this trail goes? And he said, well, where are you trying to go? It's 30 miles long. And obviously, I am not prepared today to go 30 miles. So, that being said, and I don't even know what I look like on here because like I left the house and I wasn't planning on this and I wore makeup so for all I know you could be looking at me with mascara running down my face. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna head back. Apparently there was another trail that I should have like taken to go up to Pittock Mansion which is a few miles back. The guy thinks I've walked, this is the trail, like I said I turn around. The guy thinks that I've probably walked like three or four miles since I left my car, so, I don't know, the hike that was just supposed to be like two miles today, and then when I thought maybe I'd go to the Pittock Mansion and make it five, it's probably turned into a six or eight mile walk, but I will never be sure because I really don't know how far I went, um, because there's no markers. He did tell me that those blue diamonds that I've been seeing on the trees, I don't know, if any of you noticed them in the video, um, those are mile markers every fourth mile, and I know I've seen a bunch of them, so, I don't know. I am headed back to my car, and I'll do the Pittock Mansion another day, because at this point, I don't have time to walk, like, a mile and a half, two more miles up the hill, and then back down to go to my car, and get out of here by dark at a decent time, so... I don't know what did this trail say it was, Wildwood Trail or something. This is my hike past the witch's house and then just a peaceful hike on Wildwood Trail. It's beautiful and peaceful, but no huge landmarks back here. Anyway, I'll see you again when I get to the car. Okay, there is one of the blue diamonds. So that's one 
that's my starting point. So I'll probably walk maybe, well I haven't passed another one so I know I haven't walked a fourth a mile from where I turned around. So I'm going to count those going back and that should tell me how far I got. Okay, so there is number one. Well, this is number two. But this will be the first fourth of a mile. Unless there's some missing off trees. So, one. Okay, there is the second one since I started counting. So, I've gone a half mile since I started counting means I have a long way back to where I'm going. Okay, there is number three that I've passed, so this is three-fourths of a mile since I turned around, and I'm going to be looping back down there. Okay, there is the Aspen Trail that way. That's where the backpacker told me he came from, and then Wildwood Trail, that is what I need to stay on. I need to keep staying on it to get back where I'm going. Number four, so I've gone one mile since I turned around. It's raining really hard, and I'm soaked muddy and these boots feel like they're not about to be water and I can squeeze like I don't know if you can I can squeeze water out of my jacket because it's so wet so hopefully I didn't really walk four miles so that means I have three miles back we'll see I'll keep counting okay that trail right there may have been where I made the wrong turn and I should have gone up to go to Piddick Mansion. Instead, I kept on the trail I was on. But I think that trail you see going up over there is where I should have went. So, now I know for next time. Like, nothing says, well, unless that sign on there says, then I'll feel stupid. I'm gonna walk up to the sign and see. Wildwood Trail, and that's the home and lane trail. What does this say? Bicyclist. Doesn't say anything about Pitt Mansion. So, I don't know. I'll have to go home and see if it was Holman Trail. It should have gone up there. And just back there I passed my fifth blue diamond, so I was one and a fourth miles in. Anyway, onward back to the car. I made it back to the car as close as I can tell because I think um, I wasn't paying attention for a few of the um, blue diamonds on the trees as close as I can tell. I think I walked like a little over two and a half miles before I turned around, so a little over five miles total, and I'm soaking wet. I don't know if you can tell. Now I see why they say not to hike in jeans. These jeans, like by the time I was going back uphill, they were like so soaked all the way from the top to the bottom, and um, they felt like lead. Anyway, I am going to drive home, and when I get home, I'm going to look up the blue diamonds to make sure.